Chinese Jing Thailand or cloisonnate pieces are renowned for their beautiful designs and bright colors. Beijing's Imperial Palace has over 7,000 cloisonnate pieces, many of them articles once used daily by emperors during the Ming and Qing dynasties. This pool, decorated with entangled lotus branches, is covered by a blue glazing in its interior while its exterior has been glazed white. Following sinuous paths, the branches join six lotus flowers, their colors red, yellow, and dark green. By the time of Emperor Qian Long of the Qing Dynasty, Jing Thailand Cloisonne entered a period of artistic splendor. This celestial bird wine decanter has the fabled bird standing erect, its head cockily raised, while on its back it carries the decanter itself, which has a hornless chur dragon as a handle. It rests upon two wheels and has its tail feathers standing yet another golden-plated bird. The celestial bird is a sacred, legendary creature which carries connotations of good fortune and prosperity. Jing Tai Lan Cloisonne gets its name from Ming Dynasty Emperor Jing Tai, whose love for the technique manifested itself in his own development of new colors for the enamels. Within the blue enamels, there is sky blue, zuan blue, and treasure or bao blue. Moving across the chromatic spectrum, we have chicken blood red, ink green, as well as yellow, white, and purple. The most distinctive color is blue or lan, which achieved a purity and brilliance greater than any color until then. Therefore, it was often used as the base glaze color. This is why the emperor's royal title Jing Tai and the most popular color used in the glazing, blue or lan, became the shorthand for Chinese cloisonne that is still widely used today, Jing Tai Lan. The process by which Jing Tai Lan pieces are produced is extremely complex. The first step is the production of the rough cast. Utilizing extendable red copper, according to the particular design the artisan has in mind, the metal is cut out and then is hammered onto the piece to produce copper rough cast. This step is entirely carried out by hand. With the base finished, it is ready to have the metal filaments fused onto it in beautiful patterns. Using a pair of tweezers and flexible but tough filaments of red copper, the artisan will insert the threads onto the piece, folding and turning them according to his preferred design. The colors of the piece will be decided during the enamel filling, which is the step that requires the most attention from the artisan. Using a small shovel, the enamel paste is slowly applied to the spaces between the copper filaments. After a high temperature firing, the grainy paste will melt into an evenly spread shiny glazing. This process is repeated two, three, and even four times until the copper wires and the enamel are fully matched, giving the piece a set of beautifully colorful clothes to wear. Then comes the burnishing of the piece so that the final step can take place where the entire copper surfaces, including the filaments, undergo a traditional process of gold plating. With this final touch, the beautiful Jing Tai Lan piece is ready. Jing Tai Lan not only utilizes techniques from metallurgy and ceramics, but further incorporates traditional painting and carvings. In May of 2006, this traditional art was listed as a first-class national intangible cultural heritage. Today, Chinese master artisans have created a new type of Jing Tai Lan. This is known as Bo Jing Jing Tai Lan Cloisonne painting, which uses two layers on a fixed wood plank as a rough cast and then filigrees the contours of the painting with gold, each thread bold and smooth. This new art has shone a new light on the ancient Chinese art of Jing Tai Lan, blazing new trails for the traditional art form.